Aloha everyone, this is our today's project and I know exactly what colors I'm going to use but I don't really know what I'm going to do with them It's another go with the flow tutorial so we will see Let's go! Okay, so let's start with a good prep I cleaned this piece really well with white lightning. This is Dixie Bell's furniture cleaner. And then I rinsed the whole piece two times only with water to get rid of any leftover solution or dirt. I let the piece dry for a few hours and it was ready to be painted. And I started with Honky Tonk Red. Um, quite a bold decision, we might say. Just love it. Now I blended it some peony, I used the same brush, um, also I used the same brush to apply the Florida Orange. The more color variations we have, um, the better. I also blended in some flamingos and then I get back on painting with red. While I was painting, I had a vision <laughs> of painting the other side of the piece in mermaid tail and some spots of kudzu and pure ocean. And then for the next coat, I will be switching the colors. So I will paint the red side with mermaid tail and the mermaid tail with pinks, red and so on. Like I will do a dry brushing layer them nice. Hope that makes sense. If not, it will do very, very soon. Now I move working on the bottom part. I will just put it on fast forward because it's just the same process. I will only introduce more colors. I will introduce Colonel Mustard and I will just do a mix of um, Peony, Flamingo, T-Rose. Unfortunately, I cannot give you the recipes for these custom colors because I just did them on the moment on the piece basically I introduced some colonel mustard on the bottom part and it just looks amazing I'm so happy I, um, I added this color And now let's move working on the second coat. I use the premium tube brush, a miss bottle, and let's go with mermaid tail. Now here I took too much paint, I did a mistake, so I had to wipe it, but it's okay. I repair it easily. This is actually the look I want to get to have the color underneath just speaking through. So on the whole piece I did like a combination of normal dry brushing, heavy dry brushing and kind of color wash in the same time. So for some parts I pick up a small amount of paint, I wipe the excess on a piece of paper and then I just went over the details. Um, at some other spots where I wanted the paint to be more intense, I just pick up the paint and I just layer it where I wanted. Also, I really, really love dry brushing because it's creating some really nice brush strokes while still letting those colors underneath to nicely pick through. And in some places, I just picked up some paint, applied it, then diluted with water straight on the piece. But I didn't want in those places to have brush strokes. That's why I chose to do a color wash. And I did the same with the red, orange, pink just layer them, dry brush, color wash. Now it's time for me to shut up and let you enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you soon!
on the doors inside I applied the new Terra Clay paint in the shade Lanis Lagoon, which is just splendabulous. Love it. And then I sanded the edges just to reveal a bit of the wood. And we're done! And finally, I sealed the piece with three coats of flat clear coat, letting each one to dry in between for two hours. On the inside of this piece, I will apply an orange scented box, Best Mama's Bottle, but once this piece sells, so it will be fresh for our customer. And this is the final result. Thank you so so much for watching, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned something new and if you did so, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more furniture tutorials. See you next time, bye!